Hi Leo, welcome to Starkeology Tarot. This is my channel. I am Desi. I am so thrilled, honored, and privileged to get to give you a March reading. Um, this is good for Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. What resonates is what is meant for you, what doesn't is meant for someone else, so be grateful with the messages today. Um, sorry, did I say grateful? I meant gracious, but that was a slip. <laughs> be grateful for what you get is, is what I just said. <laughs> um, I'm calling in your guides, Leo. Your masters, ascended masters, angels and archangels. They are all here with me right now. And they've led you to this video because you're supposed to be here. There's a message here for you today. And I'm so happy that it's it's made its way to you. What are the messages for Leo that will best align them with their highest selves, their highest path, their highest good? I'm looking for messages that empower collective today. Empower collective to step into their own sovereignty and power in the creation of their every present moment and their futures. What are the messages for Leo today? Leo, oh, that's you. Four of Pentacles, Leo. The Fool, oh wow, this is really beautiful, Leo. This month is a month of achievement achievement and success for you. There's something that, the, there are some, some things that, um, there's some wish fulfillment that happens this month. Um, you finally grasp, um, you know, you reach a certain goal. Um, even if it's a little goal, you reach that goal you uh you have achievements you re you 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 touch success this month march you really feel the power of of your own success of your achievement and it does feel like the sun you know is rising on you it's like the sun is rising on your good fortune again um especially if you've been in a period of shadow it's so great to just have those little winds that make you feel like, oh, I feel the warmth of the sun again. I feel taken care of. I feel like everything I've put in, um, I feel like appreciated for. You know, that's where it's sometimes outward validation. There's a line, right? Where we, between like enjoying being appreciated for our gifts, for our talents, for our efforts and hard work. Um, we can enjoy that and then it crosses over to that line where we, we need it in order to be fulfilled, be happy, be well. Um, you know, needing that outward validation or, or maybe getting too greedy with that outward validation um, where that becomes the only thing that, that uh, fuels us. This isn't that for you. This really is... Um, You're turning towards the light this month, Leo. It's like you're seeing the positive in things, you're seeing the beauty in things, and of course, your little wins, your wins, your successes, your achievements help you to have a better outlook on your life um, and just really put you in a place of such positivity. What's the challenge? The challenge is, I mean, funny, I, you know, I actually didn't even mean to I wasn't even making this connection consciously but what I just mentioned about um, using those out, outward valid needing outward validation to define you or to make you feel good about yourself um, that really is the obstacle this week is it's like saying enjoy your successes but don't don't attach yourself to those successes don't um, don't internalize them so deeply that they change the core of who you are we have the four of pentacles here which is so much about attachment it's so much about like not letting go and often it's like holding on to literal wins so 
and then we hold on to those wins so tightly um, whether it's like how we define ourselves or just in the way that we think like it's like oh i need to i just had this success i need to replicate this again exactly if i want to have success again it's like that's a form of of limiting our growth limiting our paths um that's a way that we limit ourselves by by just over defining ourselves with past successes or past wins or it's like this this win worked exactly right for me in the past so i need to do this i need to take those exact steps all over again um when oftentimes it's like yeah we won that we finished that chapter um because we are meant to try something a brand new way now we're meant to start over we're meant to force ourselves outside of our comfort zone now because we achieved that the way that we did so it's like the whole point sometimes is like doing it differently because we don't just want to repeat lessons we don't just want to be like a big fish in a small pond as soon as we become that big fish the the thing that will challenge us and grow us best is finding a bigger body of water always you know, becoming nobody again, forgetting ourselves, and then rediscovering ourselves in circumstances where we're brand new to everything again. And it's so hard to do that because it's the ego that is desperate for that kind of validation, is desperate for that, for, you know, those merits, for the, the, those titles that we get after our names, um, for those awards, for those rewards. It's like the ego needs that to, to, know itself and our our constant relationship with our ego is saying like i'm gonna continue putting you in in uncomfortable situations um i'm gonna make you forget yourself or not know yourself or question who you are um you know i'm gonna put you in a position where you could fail now and then it's your soul that ends up getting groomed and grown um, because the soul doesn't really have that opportunity when the ego has every little every little detail managed so that is the big obstacle is not over attaching to these successes not over attaching not letting these things go to your head or and by your head, I mean really your ego. Um, you know, being able to still have perspective um, and still see like, what's gonna be the next step now? What sh what's my next step if I hadn't won this, if I hadn't achieved this? What do I want to do? What am I drawn to do um, regardless of the success? The success shouldn't really weigh into um, my path because it kind of can skew what we think our, our next steps are um, because of course success just makes us sometimes do things for the wrong reasons this is all leading to the advice which is literally to be a beginner again in March I feel like Leo, some of you are being tempted to just like continue along, to continue along a path because you've been successful there. To just keep doing something because it's like, well, look at how well I did. You know, I achieved this, I achieved this. And it's extremely tempting to just keep achieving that same thing over and over again and fool myself into thinking that I'm going somewhere when really I'm just standing completely still. That's the challenge. That's what keeps you stagnant and paralyzed, Leo. The advice truly is to, to embrace the unknown, to find the cliffs in your life and say, be really scary if I just jumped off that thing right now. Where does that lead? I haven't done that yet. I haven't jumped, I haven't jumped off of that cliff yet. The sun is shining on you, Leo. 
success is shining on you, achievement is shining on you, not because you need to like capture it and hold on to it so tightly. It's not doing that to, to spotlight where you are in this like flash frame of your life right now, to not glorify this like snapshot of you and just be like, I gotta recreate this snapshot over and over again. No, the sun is shining on you. Success is shining on you. Fulfillment and happiness is shining on you to light the path forward for you. Sometimes success and achievement should fuel us into going, into taking bigger risks into unknown. Success and achievement should give us the strength to, to fail. That's what you're being called to do this month. You have been given this success, this achievement, this fulfillment as strength for you to take steps into the unknown, strength for you to potentially fail because that is the single most growing, expansive, expanding, evolving thing that you can do for yourself and for your journey. We have to consciously put ourselves in beginner positions again. We have to consciously put, reconnect with full energy throughout our lives because it's counterintuitive. The older we get, the more, the more we turn into adults, the more adult we are, the more we tend to believe like, oh, I can't ever be a fool again. I can't be a beginner again. I can't have that child like um, naivete in jumping off the cliff, like just thinking I can be a, I can be a rock star now. I'm just going to be a rock star now. You know, that's like such a classic kid approach to trying something new. And you don't see adults do that. In fact, like adults get um, judged when they have a midlife crisis where they leave their whole job behind. And they're like, wait, I actually never wanted to be an accountant. I am going to pursue art, you know, or whatever it is. That isn't celebrated culturally. So it's extra, we have to work extra hard to undo that kind of cultural conditioning and tell ourselves like, no, that's actually very important energy that we need to cultivate in ourselves. The willingness to try something new, to make a fool of ourselves, to look stupid, to be a beginner, to learn again, and to have the kind of innocence that it takes to do that. Because if we, if we are not in touch with that kind of childlike innocence and wonder, then we talk ourselves out of, do, of beginning before we've even begun. Because we think, well, I'll never be successful at that, or these are the reasons why I can't do something like that. There has to be a part of us that believes we can do something that seems you know, impossible at this age or whatever it is. Um, there has to be a part of us that's like, sure, maybe I'll try that and I'll be really good at it, naturally or you know, whatever that, whatever that is for you. So this really is about harnessing fool energy, Leo. Um, being willing to be the fool, to look like a fool, to be incredibly vulnerable, to put yourself in such a vulnerable position, starting something new. Um, it can be a new project, it could be a new career, it could be a new job that you take, it could be a new, way that you approach your job. It could be a new, a, a new way of existing in your relationships with people. It could be like, I'm going to start talking about things in a way that I haven't talked before. I'm going to start initiating this with my partner. Um, whatever it is, you can start over right now. You can start over without even changing any like outward conditions of your life. You can start over, you can be new. And you, this, is, this is your opportunity to look like a fool and have it be okay, especially in the light of your recent success. That shouldn't hold you, that shouldn't put pressure on you to just continue succeeding, succeeding, succeeding. We succeed, we achieve things so that we have the strength to fail. That's the thing that I just, I feel like I have to hammer home for you. That's what these achievements are for you. That's what these wins are for you. Don't let them bind you. Don't let them imprison you, limit you 
to living a success only life that is a life of perfection that will be toxic to you that's not the purpose that successes serve that achievements serve that fulfillment serve fulfillments bring us give us light they bring us optimism they give us strength and that kind of recklessness we need to be to look like a fool to be vulnerable to try something new to take on the potential of failure I would love to hear how this looks specifically for you in your life, Leo, so feel free to comment below. Um, I want to say too, I can't do what I'm doing without your help, truly. So any way that you can support me, whether it's liking, subscribing, commenting, sharing, 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 sharing is so crucial. Um, or you literally want to donate a few dollars a month to me, check out my Patreon below. Um, there's a lot of discounts and bonuses you get by becoming a patron, so please uh, look into that if that's something that interests you and it would help me so 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 deeply um, I want to be able to help you better to support you better and that's what your support of me helps me to do I love you very much Leo I'm rooting for you as always and I'll see you in April